Hello. So in this example, let's try to create some column legends. So let's go to our project and let's go to view section and press legend. In here for my columns, I will choose, I will try to choose scale 1 to 10. If it's not okay, so I will change it later. Legend columns. Okay, and in this view I want to insert column shapes, so I go to annotate and look for legend components. And from here I go to the list of my family objects in my project, and I look for structure columns. I have a lot of shapes, so I want to put only these which I am using, so I will first purge my project. Let's purge and let's go to columns, structure columns, and let's purge all the columns which I don't use. Okay. Now let's try, try to go back to annotations, legend components, and in this section, structure, columns, structure, structure, columns, I see one, two, three, four, five, five types, five columns, okay. I can put them in, in, in here. And let's say this one will be column one. Next one, column two. Three. One, two, three, four, and the last one. Five, five, this one. Okay, so let's align objects. So for alignment, I will use align tool and I align each element side by side. Tagging in Legends is not available. Maybe it will be in other versions of Revit. So just you can tag only only tag materials. Tag to my columns. Our tags are not working here in legends, so I don't have any material tag. So I can use material tag from Rockpool. detail project you can download it from rockpool page or, or find in a360 drive and i press on material edit and load into project i select my project press ok and i go to legend and i can uh, tag material. So in this case, I want to see material name. Okay, so from here I see my columns looks very big, so my scale is too big, so let's use 150. Now it looks much better. Mm, maybe I can do 100. Yeah. Mm. Maybe it's too big, 150. It's, it would be okay. And I just can material tagging. So this col column is combined from steel and concrete, so you can see results here. 
uh, other parts I will use text tool and I will put some descriptive information like column type mark here let's say C1 so this column is I want to check what kind of columns I have in my project so I put this view here and in here I select these elements and in annotation I can just have only simple annotation edit type C3 so this one will be C3 this one will be column 2 column 4 and let's say this one will be column 5 and let's put some dimensions not always dimensions are available in legends so objects should have a dimension lines so they can grab it for columns it's working so I can put dimensions Okay, legend column Okay, it's looks Okay, so I will use it in my sheets and I will put this legend to my sheets. So I have basic dimensions, column type, so I can check information in my shadows and I have some material, basic material, structure material of my column. 